Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the garage and welcome back to my 2004 GMC Envoy. This video is not just another oil change video guys. This is going to be my 300,000 oil change analysis video. What I'm doing today is I'm changing the oil in my 2004 GMC Envoy. It has about 310, 311,000 miles on it right now. Um, and what I want to do, as I promised you guys in a previous video, I'm going to take a sample of that oil and I'm going to send it off to Blackstone Laboratories to get an engine oil analysis. A lot of you guys commented on that video. Um, I'm interested as well. I'm really curious to see what is in my oil at 300 plus thousand miles. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the oil change. I've already got a video on how to do the oil change in this thing. I'll put a link down in the description below if you're interested. But guys, this video is going to be all about the engine oil analysis on my 2004 Envoy with about 310,000 plus miles. Now, just as a baseline, I usually change my oil about every 5,000 miles. And for the past, God, five, six, seven years, I've been using Valvoline Full Synthetic 5W30. Um, sometimes I'll switch it up and do 10W30 here and there. Um, but I also use an AC Delco PF61E uh, engine oil filter. So just to give you an idea of, of what I'm using in the car. But without further ado, let's go get a sample of this oil. Real quick before we get the oil sample, just wanted to show you this package from Blackstone. Now they actually send these out to you free of charge and it comes with a uh, USPS tracking number on it and everything and all you've got to do is put it back in the mailbox and send it on its way. But what comes in this container is a little sample jar. You also get the um, uh, paperwork you know, that you're going to fill out and it has your payment methods and um, address, email, you know, make and model of your car, so on and so forth. Um, you also get uh, just some instructions on how to collect the sample. You also get a uh, oil dry cloth that and once you fill this up you're gonna you know wrap the jar up in there and then you know plastic bag just to seal all this up. Um, they also give you just a window sticker that you can put in your window just to remind you of your mileage um, if you wanted to, but I usually just write everything down in my maintenance log book. So that's all that comes in this container, and now all we have to do is collect a sample of the oil. Alright guys, so we're under the car now, and um, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but side note, my front differential is uh, still leaking. It's leaking actually where the uh, differential meets the uh, oil pan, which um, is a lot more difficult to replace that seal than it is on the outboard side. So I have been procrastinating and putting that off for a long time now, but I will get around to replacing that, replacing that seal. Um, I think that's going to be a pretty, pretty challenging project. I'm hopeful that um, I can actually take this differential, slide it outward, and then rotate it down um, so I can reach that seal without having to pull the whole thing up. But anyway, that's not what we're here. What we are here for is to collect a sample of the oil for our engine oil analysis. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to let a little bit of this drain out, maybe about a third of the way out. There we go. Okay. Got my makeshift tripod on a couple pieces of wood there. Hopefully it's working out okay. So what we're going to do, let some of this oil drain out, and then maybe a third of the way through, halfway through, whatever, I'm going to go ahead and collect a sample. Now with these trucks, you get plenty of time to work because this is a seven quart oil pan. So I'm gonna let a little bit of this drain out. Uh, it's about a couple quarts there. And I'm gonna go ahead and collect my sample, just like that. And that's all you gotta do. Now we're just gonna get this wrapped up and shipped off to Blackstone Laboratories and then just wait a week or two and see what we get. 
So here we are about a week, week and a half later, and we finally got the results. Let's take a look and see what they say. So here we are, here are the results from my oil analysis on my 2004 GMC Envoy that has about 312,000 miles. Actually, since uh, I started filming this video, I took a trip down to Myrtle Beach, which round trip is about 300 or so miles. So I've got now, with regular daily driving, probably closer to 313,000 miles on the car. But before I read you guys the results, let me know down in the comment section below what you think the results tell. And what Blackstone does on their oil reports, which I actually really like, is they provide comments and it's not really a, in, in my opinion, a, a formal recommendation or diagnosis or anything like that. You would probably want to check with your own mechanic um, relative to the results of your oil analysis. But they do provide comments on here and I want to read those to you guys first. And I'll also put up um, a screenshot of this up here on the corner so you guys can kind of follow along. But in short, what they say is your Envoy is looking good. It says universal averages show typical wear levels for this type of GM engine after about 6,500 miles on the oil, when I actually have about 5,300 miles on this particular oil change. It says your metals compare just fine with that benchmark. So we're in good shape there. Um, and you'll see, we'll read through some of these elements that are down um, on this chart that they found in the oil. But it says silicone could be dirt, so be sure to check your air filtration and the intake for leaks and cracks. It also says that the silicone in the oil could be from repairs if they were done recently, you know, from like RTV sealant or something like that. Which I've done, uh, you know, I replaced the um, uh, oil pan, the oil pump, so there, there is some, I guess, relatively fresh RTV sealant on the motor, and that may be what they're picking up in this analysis. It says, otherwise, this is an excellent report all the way around. The viscosity is where it should be for 5W30 oil, which is what I'm using. Actually, I'm using Valvoline Full Synthetic 50W30. And low insolubles indicate very good oil filtration, which I attribute that to the brand new oil pump, as well as my AC Delco PF61 oil filter that I always run when I do my oil changes for this car. And in conclusion, it says this engine is still going strong at 312,584 total miles. So there you go, guys. Blackstone Laboratories concluded that my engine is still going strong at 313,000 miles. And my car is looking good. So I was really excited to read those results. Um, to tell you the truth, I was actually a little nervous sending that oil sample in. To, uh, as to what might be in my oil. You know, with 300,000 plus mile engine, you know, it's hard to say what could be going wrong internally. But let's take a look at just some of these elements that they found in the oil analysis, and then we'll kind of wrap up and give you guys some final thoughts here. So as I mentioned earlier, they found some silicone in here at 27 parts per million and universal averages right around 13. So I don't know what the relative scale of that is. If, uh, you know, above 15 is good or bad, above 20 is bad, above, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure the relative significance of 27 parts per million versus the universal average of 13, but it's a little bit high nonetheless. Um, also have some calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, uh, you know, zinc, phosphorus, Magnesium, those were all on the high side. You know, there was also some aluminum. Um, uh, iron, surprisingly, was below the universal average, so that's good. That tells me, you know, some of the internals, the metal parts, you know, might not be wearing as much as I thought they would. Um, and then down to the properties of the oil itself, there was less than half a percent of fuel in the oil, which is good. There was 0% water in the fuel, so that tells me I don't have any leaks around the head gasket or anything like that. Um, also, antifreeze, 0%. Again, that's telling me that I don't have any leaks around the head gasket, which is really good. Uh, flash point, you know, 440 degrees, it should be above 385. So again, that just speaks to the quality of the oil after 500, or after 5,300 or so miles um, on that oil. Again, that just goes back to the good oil filtration and the conclusion that the engine is still going strong, the oil is showing typical wear for, you know, 6,500 miles and so on. 
So guys, what do you think of that engine oil analysis? Is that what you thought might have been in my motor with 300 plus thousand miles on it, or was it something different? Again, let me know down in the comments section below. These comments that Blackstone provided are, I think, a, a very valuable tool for you to use just to kind of judge the general condition, the general health of your motor. Now this is the first time I've ever done an oil analysis on my 2004 Envoy, so I don't have a benchmark from which to evaluate, you know, the 50,000 mile mark. However, you know, they do give you those universal averages to give you a reference point to what they should be, you know, based on the age and mileage on your car. So that's what I really like about it. So the conclusion that I was really excited to read was that my engine is still going strong after 313,000 miles. Again, this is the original motor. I've got the inline six, the 4.2 liter motor. That thing has been a beast ever since I've owned the car for, uh, I, I bought it at about 50,000 miles. So I have, I've put about 250, 260,000 miles on the car myself. It has been very reliable. I have no complaints whatsoever. So there you go guys, there is the engine oil analysis on my 2004 GMC Envoy with over 300,000 miles. The car is still running strong, the engine is still running well, so I'm going to think I'm going to hold on to this guy for a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you do be sure to leave me a thumbs up and if you hadn't done so already please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I've got a lot of other car care and DIY repair videos on the channel that you may find interesting. Also I've got a lot more content on this 2004 GMC Envoy if you guys are into repairing your Envoy Trailblazer uh, and cars of similar platform. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for stopping by the channel. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.